the Evergreen International Triathlon? Just like the Olympics. If this is a competition, Popsy, that million bucks is as good as ours. Lisa. Ah! This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is, until Burt Raccoon wakes up. <laughs> Luckily, he has some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest, except for... Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoons. The sun has risen on another day in the evergreen forest. And while some folks have to struggle to get out of bed, Cyril Sneer has no such problem. He never went to bed. You say this product's going to sell like hotcakes? But how do I know that? Ha! Ah, because they are hotcakes! Send me 600 units! Here are those papers you wanted, boss! Oh, and you've got 10 appointments waiting in the outer office! Six are urgent, three are critical, and one is... Your son! Look, son, I'm kind of busy right now, but... I know, Pop. That's why I thought I'd come down and give you a hand. I appreciate that, son, but I've got things under control. But, Pop, you've been working awfully hard. That's right, son. Business is booming, and I'm in the middle of a half a dozen deals. Big deals, big risks, but big risks mean big profits. Thanks anyway, son. Sure, Pop. See you later. Yeah. No, I said buy, not sell. Oh. Master Cedric, hurry! Something's happened to the boss! Pop! Oh, no! Somebody call the doctor! What I have to say today does not come easy. But running Sneer Enterprises has become too much work and too much stress even for me. So, on the advice of my doctor and for the sake of my health, I've decided to retire. Retire? Retire? That's right, I'm retiring. Hanging up the old calculator. I've made my last million, done my last deal. So what does this mean? No more Sneer Industries in the Evergreen Forest? Not a chance, Raccoon. I may be changing my lifestyle, but as long as there is money to be made, Sneer Enterprises will be there with a new president, my son. Cedric's here! A million dollars? Gee, that's a lot of prize money to put up, Mr. Steele. Oh, there now. It takes money to make money. Triathlons are the sporting event the public wants to see. You got running, you got swimming, you got cycling. What more could you want? Well... I don't see how we're going to make a profit. Eh, now, it's simple, Cedric. You put up the million dollars in prize money, and I'll promote the race. Get us a lot of attention. And then we cut a deal with the TV networks, and you make back your money, plus a pretty little profit. Maybe, but I... You ought to think about it for a couple of years, do you? Fine! But I've got other interested parties that have banged down my door to sponsor the Evergreen International Triathlon. What would Pop do? Big deals, big risks. Big risks mean big profits. Okay, count me in. Terrific. Now, I'll get this triathlon on track. And you get that prize money in place. Sure. Now I think we should have big ads and all the... Sure thing, me bucko. Uh, look, uh, I've got to fly.
Gee, I sure hope I did the right thing. What right thing? Pop, what are you doing at the office? Nothing, son. Got some kind of deal in the go? Yes, but you're retired. You're not supposed to worry about this stuff anymore. Just relax, Pop. I can take care of things. You're right, son. I'll get out of your hair. The worries are all yours now. Yeah. And I just might have a million of them. I never thought we'd be printing a story about Cyril Sneer's retirement. Oh, no. It looks like it's break time, guys. I'll need a couple of minutes to fix this. Sure, Alf, and while you're doing that job, I'll take care of another job I started. Eating. <laughs> hey. Where is that sandwich? <coughs> Gee, it doesn't look good. Hey, I, I haven't heard anybody talking about this. The Evergreen International Triathlon. No wonder. We can add that small. Running, cycling, and swimming. Those are your three best sports, Bert. Don't I know it. Prizes, cash, and a gold medal to be awarded. A gold medal. Wow! Just like the Olympics! What's just like the Olympics? The Evergreen Triathlon. Bert's gonna enter and he's a singe to win the gold medal. Oh, he is, is he? Bert Raccoon steps up to the podium to be presented with the gold medal for his record-setting performance in the triathlon. The crowd goes nuts! You know, Bert, there are others who could enter this race, and they might be just as good as you. Ha! Ah! Bring on the competition. I'm in tip-top shape. Plenty of exercise, a well-balanced diet. Bert, would peanut butter sandwiches be part of a well-balanced diet? Uh, uh sure, uh, I guess so, Ralph. Good. Then after I scrape this one out of here, you can eat it. Mmm. <clears throat> What's going on over at Lady Baden Baden's? Looks like some kind of big deal. Now, boss, you're retired, and you told Master Cedric you wouldn't interfere. Interfere? Never! I'm just following the bouncing ball. Ha <laughs> What the devil? Sorry about that, Knox. I guess I've got a bigger slice than you. <laughs> so what's going on here? May I have your attention, please? I would like to thank everyone for coming to our little charity art auction. I would especially like to congratulate Cedric Sneer for making the largest bid of the day. Ten thousand dollars! Ten thousand dollars? Well, that's quite some son raised Mr. Sneer. You know, he's really changing my impression of Sneer Enterprises. Yeah, and he's really changing the bank balance, too. Okay, Bert, as your trainer, I think we should keep track of your time, and then we can see how you're improving. Sounds good, little buddy. Hey, how about down to the big pine and back? Too easy. Huh? huh? Lisa, well, what are you doing? Same thing you are, training to win the triathlon. And the gold medal? Ha! Bird's the best. You can't beat him. No? How about to Willow's store and back? Sure, but uh, listen, if you get too tired, you could stop and uh, rest, you know. Go! Cycling is my specialty. Now, the important thing to remember is to pace yourself. Hey guys, how'd the training go? Lisa and Bert had this race. It was great. And what about Bert? Oh, uh, he's not back yet. Oh. <sighs> Bert, are you all right? <sighs> sure. I, I just pulled something. It, it slowed me down, and I, I couldn't uh, really race full out. You know. Wow! I just figured out Lisa's time. Look! Not bad. We may just have a budding athlete in the family. If you get this kind of time in the race tomorrow, you're a cinch to win that gold medal. Hey, what about me? Uh, well, anything can happen in a race. 
And you've got lots of experience, but... Never mind. You guys don't have to worry about me, because I'm not racing tomorrow. In fact, I quit! Rise and shine! Time to get up and face another day of doing absolutely nothing! <laughs> Gee, I can't wait till we get to retire. If you three don't get out of this room, you won't live long enough to retire. No, no. We shouldn't be getting all excited. Master Cedric wants you to know he has an early meeting and won't be able to have breakfast with you. A meeting? With whom? Well, aren't we full of questions this morning? But all you have to worry about is drinking up, and then maybe we'll all go out for a nice little walk. Mr. Steele, we still don't have a TV deal. Yeah, well, I'm working on it. Uh, these things take time, you know. <laughs> but the triathlon is tomorrow, and without that deal, I won't make back the prize money I'm putting up. I'm going to lose a fortune. Yeah, bucko, relax. Everything's under control. Oh, look, uh, I've got to fly. Okay, give me a call when you get things worked out. Pop, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I was just uh, passing by and... Uh, <laughs> You're supposed to take it easy. No excitement, no exertion, no stress. You've got to learn to relax. And I know just who can teach you. Pigs! Pigs! Now, relaxation can be a very tiring job. <sighs> the trick is not to fight it. Just sleep on it. Stop, boss! Enough! No more! Relax! <laughs> Gee, Schaefer, being the new president of Sneer Enterprises isn't all that easy. Could I have another one of these, please? Why are you quitting? Because! What kind of answer is that? Are you quitting because you might lose to me? Ha! Huh, of course not. I just don't feel like racing right now. Bert Raccoon, you're acting like a child. I don't want anything to do with you or this stupid race. I wish I'd never heard of it. I'm quitting, too. I wish I'd never huh? heard of this stupid race, either. Cedric? You've entered the triathlon? No, but I've invested a lot of money in it and, well... It's not going so great. I think I've really blown it this time, guys. If I sell these fish at eight dollars a pound... <laughs> Poor boys! A fortune awaits us! Oh, he must have got too much sun. Don't worry, Cedric, old buddy. With Lisa and me back in the race, we'll win that prize money back for you. Thanks. I sure hope so. Hey, you guys got to see this. There's a guy training for the triathlon, and is he good? Here he comes. Hey, that's Mr. Steele. Fantastic. That was your best time ever. Hey, what's going on here, Mr. Steele? Ah, uh, Cedric Sneer. Here, I want you to meet my son, Rod Steele. Rod's training for tomorrow's race. Your son can enter the race? Why not? Well, you're the promoter. It wouldn't be right. <laughs> Check the contract, bucko. There's nothing to stop us. Yeah? Well, doesn't that contract also say you were supposed to get TV coverage? I've got it. Right here. That's it? Mr. Steele, Cedric can't make his money back with that kind of coverage. You're just after the prize money, aren't you? Bingo! You figured it out. But that won't do you any good now. This raw deer has never lost a race to anyone. Maybe. But then he's never raced against us. Ha! If this is a competition, Popsy, that million bucks is as good as ours. <laughs> yeah, got to fly, me buckos. So long, suckers! A million dollars! Why those crooks? Boys, it's time to come out of retirement! 
I want to thank you for coming down at the last minute to take the race for me. Well, after what y'all did for Lady Baden Baden's auction, I am only too happy to help out a button business tycoon. But, uh, I doubt any TV network will be interested in this sporting event. I understand there's only one real possible winner. I sure hope not. Everyone ready for the big race? You bet. Bert and I are going to give this guy Steele a real run for the money. Well, you've got your work cut out for you. I've done some checking up on Rod Steele. Uh, how good is he? Never lost a race. It seems Robin Steele goes around setting up these triathlons, which he barely advertises. Then his son blows away the field, and they collect the prize money. What a scam! All participants, please take your marks. I bought us these binoculars to watch the race, Melissa. Gee, thanks, Ralph. Hey, it's Pop. Pop, what are you doing? What about your condition? Oh, hi, son. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm just going to take it nice and easy. And take care of these crooks. That's nice and easy? That's going to kill him. I've got to stop him. Pop, stop. Don't do this. Son, we have to catch up to them. It doesn't matter, Pop. This is one million dollars we're talking about. No, it's you we're talking about. Because if you don't slow down, well, all the money in the world won't buy me another Pop. There they go, Ralph. And Lisa is right behind Rod. Oh, great. They're way ahead of everyone, Ralph. A girl! Ha! Eat my dust! <gasps> hey, watch it! Stay on your own side! Melissa, could you give me a hand? Later, uh... Ralph, I'm watching the race! <gasps> Lisa's gonna pass him! Lisa, are you okay? Yeah, but I'm out of this race thanks to Rod. He did this? And you could have won the race. Why, he ought to be... Oh, forget it, Bert. You're our only hope now. Me? Bert, you can do it. You can take this guy. Go! I can see them again, but, but what happened to Lisa? Rod's all alone in first place, and he, he doesn't look like he's in any hurry. Wait, something 
Something's happening. Why, it's... it's... It's who? It's who? This race isn't over yet. It is for you. It's too late for those tricks. They're even now. They're coming into the home stretch. Here they come. Hey! What? He did it! Bert won! Oh, what a race! Oh, Ralph, quit fooling around. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And thank you! The Evergreen Triathlon turned out to be the sporting event of the year. And thanks to Bert Raccoon, Cedric not only got his prize money back, but much, much more. Look, I'll let you work out the details with my new partner. Yeah, I've decided the business around here is too much for one person to handle. Hang on, I'll transfer you over to his office. It's for you, partner. Thanks, partner. Knox, <laughs> yeah, well, retirement wasn't for me. How about that TV deal? How about we discuss it over a game of golf this afternoon? Oh, too busy, eh? <laughs> Listen, Knox, you've got to slow down and take things a bit easier. <laughs> Bills, junk mail, bills. Hmm, what's this? For me? To the rightful winner. From Burt Raccoon. The gold medal? Thank you, Burt. Thank you. Darkness.